Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Okay, uh, let us start this video. Okay, all right, let me start by showing you something. Okay, wait, can you see? Okay, hey doggy, are you? Um, 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 going to make my video. Okay, can you see this? This is a camera. Okay, and this here is also another camera, and on top of this is this sensor light. Okay, and I'll tell you why I'm showing you all this. Okay, and if you actually see around my house, here's another sensor light. Here's another sensor light and you can see cameras below that. Okay, I have around 16 cameras around the house. I know you must be like, what the hell? It's Fort Knox. Uh, <laughs> I, I keep the cameras for security and also there's a lot of dogs and cats and you know, sometimes people wandering and snakes and all that. So when they see the light, they get afraid and go. Okay, that's not the reason why I shared it with you. Okay, so you saw, no? I have cameras and I have the sensor. Okay, sensor lights. Now let me tell you something interesting. When I uh, came to this island, when I came to this island, it's a small island. Okay, very small, 800 kilometers away from the mainland. And uh, I wanted someone to install the CCTV, the cameras, security cameras. And on this island, we, you know, there are very few people. So everyone knows everyone and, you know, people recommend it. Try this guy, try that guy, try it. Okay. Finally, I, you know, used my judgment and I went for one particular guy. And he has been the guy who I've stuck with for the past uh, seven years. Okay. Every time, every year I needed an upgrade, I would go to him only. Now, the thing about this guy is, he is far more expensive than most other people. He's not the most expensive, but he's far more expensive. But what I love about him is his job. He is perfect at his job. Okay, perfect. His quality is world-class. His service is world-class. The materials that he uses is original, but uh, yeah, you know, he's expensive and it justifies because you're giving me world-class service, you're giving me world-class equipment, you deserve a world-class payment. So I would say I pay him around 40% more than what I'd pay his competitor. Okay. So this is example number one. Just keep that in mind and I'll tell you why I bought it up. Now above that is the sensor light. You saw the camera and then you saw the light, right? The sensor light is, I didn't get it done from him. I got it done from another guy. Now this other guy, he is the general maintenance guy who does general maintenance stuff. Like if I ask him, fix the lights, he'll fix the lights. Plumbing work he knows. He knows carpentry work. He knows, you know, basic fixing, removing, putting. Okay, so he does all the generic work, basic work. Now, you know, when I wanted to install the sensor lights, which are new, so every time I come with a scooter, it's not dark, lights come on in unison. I have around uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven, seven sensor lights in various locations, seven or eight, where you know, when you walk, you don't need to put it on, it comes automatically on. Now, when I asked uh, my security cam guy, how much would you take to install these lights? So he asked me how many lights are there? I said around eight. So he said, let me make the costing and get back to you. I said, fine. So after a few days, he got back to me and he said, 
per light i will charge you 3500 3002 3500 per light and that includes uh the work my my staff charges materials wiring piping everything okay all the materials everything extra i'll cover in that so 3000 to 3500 per light okay the exact cost would uh, would be determined after he comes and measures how much cable and how long and you know what extra work he has to put because you need to put a main box electric box and all that so 3500 3000 to 3500 with all the material and work included then i asked this guy who is a general guy what is how much would he charge me if i wanted these lights to be put now before i answer okay <laughs> don't cheat put down below what do you think he would charge me okay put down below don't cheat huh? just uh, be honest others you know the fun is gone because anyway i'll give you the answer but it's good to get your guess so put down below what do you think he charged per light okay so he's a single guy alone single guy doesn't have a company doesn't have staff doesn't how much he'll charge okay so you put okay so now i'll continue now i'll tell you so when i asked this guy how much he'll charge per light he told me i'll charge you 200 to 250 baht so this guy will charge me 200 to 250 per light but that doesn't include material the raw materials will be extra while the other guy will charge me 3000 to 3500 all inclusive with the material now you might be like same like me i was like what the hell man that's so bloody expensive like what a difference so obviously you know this was not like a security thing i just need lights and cabling so i opted for this guy okay i chose uh, this, oh by the way the uh, lights that guy who said 200 to 250 lights were not included in that the other guy lights were included in that okay just before i forget so with this guy who's cheaper he said you buy the lights i'll give you the invoice for the cabling and all that you to buy all that just 250 just to do the work the other guy said no i'll buy the lights i'll buy everything okay and he obviously was buying very high-end premium stuff so i decided to go in for the cheaper guy because this was not something of you know very high security just lights come on and come off automatic so i paid him finally after i did the costing i wanted to check what was the difference what i found out is the extra cost that this guy the premium that this guy was asking for was 1000 baht to 1500 per light so the premium was i had to pay this guy 1000 to 1500 extra or let's say roughly a thousand okay let's let's put it at a thousand and obviously the brand that he would offer was philips i took a local thai brand okay now why am i sharing this example with you i'm pretty sure you also when you have to do any housework or service you'll always take different quotations from different people uh, you'll ask one guy who's specialized he'll charge you a bomb you'll ask another guy who does general stuff he'll charge you cheaper in fact i'll give you my example best there are a lot of people who do cvs resumes on fiverr believe it or not what i charge like what i will charge 500 dollars minimum okay for some if it is a student it's 237 us dollars and then it goes on from there <laughs> there have been resumes or profiles for rebranding which have charged up to five thousand dollars no joke actual five thousand dollars and you'll be like who the mad person well there's one person who has charged i've literally charged him three times more 
but that was for a very specific, very niche. This thing is totally different. That's why I'm not saying 15,000, but 5,000 is on the high end. Okay. And you might say, who's mad enough to pay you? Yeah, well, people have the money. People believe in what I do. They pay and they are happy. Okay. Uh, so I told you, it starts from $237 just for a student can go up to $5,000. Okay. And beyond. Now the same resume, same service, you can get for $5 on Fiverr. Same. Means resume, re uh, they'll say resume rebrand or they'll say resume service. In fact, uh, <laughs> one of my clients in one of the UAE groups, he posted uh, one, I don't know, Russian or someone said, oh, I want to make my CV, who can I go? So this guy being my old time client, he said, Loy Mesido is the best. He put my name. And he said, contact him. But remember, he's premium. So, I don't know, from somewhere this lady, uh, I'll not give you her real name. She is staying in UAE. She's a lady from Delhi. She has a website and all that. She's like, who the hell is this guy? I was like, oh, why is she angry with me? Who the hell is this guy? Look at his face and I checked his website. He looks more like a, a Mexican mafia and... If he's so unprofessional, what the hell is he going to do? And he's not based in you. Oh, she was busy criticizing me left, right and center. And then obviously, because my client, you know, he was being attacked publicly and also his loyalty is towards me. He started defending, but... And I saw the drama unfolding and finally I requested him, please stop. Just, it's no point, you don't have to... He told law, you can school her, put her in her place. This is not required, just... Just let it be. Just delete your comments. I requested him to delete his comments and uh, let her put what she wants. So overall, she said, oh, he's crap. I've checked his videos. He roams naked and blah, 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 blah. She went on. So I told him very clearly, the clients who have to come to me, they'll come to me. You don't need to. Uh, if you know somebody uh, close, okay. But randomly, if you put, you'll always get attacked. Just forget it. Hey, doggy. Okay, so now, uh, this lady, she was offering the same service and she even mentioned, she took screenshots and all that stuff. What she didn't know is she's giving me publicity. You know, good or bad publicity is always, good publicity or bad publicity is publicity. So she made me famous with my website and the links and screenshots. She said, what the hell, who the hell will pay this guy? He's a fraudster, he's a scammer. I didn't mind it. She can say whatever. Oh, he charges, what, uh, $100,000 for this and $10,000. She's saying, I provide guaranteed good service. And I think she was offering for $150. That also, a senior level executive uh, resume. So imagine she's charging 150 And on Fiverr, you can get for $5. In fact, if you search online, you'll even get for free templates. You can go to OpenAI, you can go to ChatGPT, you can go to Bing, you can go to all these uh, now applications, even Google has now, and you'll get a free resume. Okay, so now the question is, why should someone spend, you know, like $5,000 or $1,000 or... Say, my basic charge, $237 per hour or per, for a student resume. Let's say student resume, $237. Why should someone spend that? When you can get for free. When on Fiverr, some sellers on Fiverr, they give you five to ten resumes based on what you want. And they'll give you multiple profiles. Okay. In fact, if you pay the same amount, you can download 5,000 resume templates. You can search online 5,000 resume templates with the software for life. So why should someone come to me? Now, obviously, I'm not going to say because I'm the best and no, no, it's something like that. It is people pay me a premium for my specialization, for my experience, for my customization and for the stuff that makes me unique. Okay. For the UE market or 
Canadian market or American market, whatever. I have a very unique approach, which is not copy paste, same for all. And my generally when I make a resume, it takes anything from one week of video calls, huh? video calls where I do it live to up to a month. The one which I was talking 5,000 to 10,000, uh, sorry, 5,000 to 15,000, that took around two and a half, I think two and a half years or so. But obviously not every day. We were speaking once every two weeks or three weeks. Or sometimes one month he was busy and okay. So it takes time. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of research, a lot of specialization. And what makes me unique is I know the loopholes of the system. I can analyze a person's personality, which majority cannot. I can research and find out about the company or the owner or the industry. And I have contacts and connections. Okay, so people pay me a premium for that. Now, many people say, who the fuck is crazy to pay this guy when you can get it for free? And to those people, I say you're absolutely right. If you want something for free, you're not meant to be my customer. If you are prepared to make your profile a $5 profile, <laughs> I'm not your service provider. See, same thing with the cameras. For example, the cameras is where I paid him serious money. I paid him a premium because I believed he was worth it and he is worth it. Like whenever I ask him for any after sale service, he has never charged me. Replacement never charged me. Warranties, he's been great. And I seriously don't mind paying him extra. In fact, when I ask him to do the security camera works, security camera, I've never bargained with him. Whatever is your price, tell me, I'll pay you. But when it came to the sensor lights, he was not specialized in sensor lights. He decided, okay, since I provide the service, I can provide that. So for that, I decided to go with this guy and obviously he got a, when I checked the costing finally, after buying the materials, this guy who's cheaper was per light 1000 to 1500. So now how does, what does all this mean for you? My question to you is, are you specialized or are you generic? Are you the jack of all trades or are you specialized in only one thing? Because remember, if you are the jack of all trades, you will get many customers, many, many, many customers. You'll get many people who will want to pay you, many people who want to come. It's like a restaurant that serves food. But if you're looking for very specific Italian food only, then you have to pay a premium because they will have dedicated, maybe Italian chefs, uh, dedicated Italian ingredients and people from Italy may be working there instead of having maybe an Indian chef or a Thai chef who will be preparing, you know, all 10 different types of cuisines. So I want you to ask yourself, am I specialized? Am I or am I generic? And it's not, I'm not saying that it's bad to be generic. There are many doctors who are general practitioners. And then there are many doctors who are uh, surgeons or specialists. A general practitioner doctor, if you're a medical student, you can correct me here. I don't know the exact number of years, but I think after uh, maybe college, maybe you have to dedicate five years and you'll be a general practitioner. But if you want to be a specialist, maybe 10 years after college, and if you want to be like ultra, like a surgeon, maybe it's 15 years. So you see, there's a premium. They have to spend for education, five years, another one, 10 years, another one, 15 years. And yes, the college and the training and the, you know, hands-on approach. So if I could leave you with one message through this video is, what, what do you want? Do you want to be jack of all? Do you want to be the master of one? 
In my case, I specialized in personal branding. Okay. Very specific. So in personal branding comes what? Uh, specifically jobs. Okay. And if you were to zero it even more down, Middle East. And if you were to zero it down, Dubai. Okay. UAE. But I use the same logic for Canada and US and all that. And I was successful. But like I told you, when I check the number of customers that I get, almost 80% is for UAE. Then comes Canada or India or whatever. Okay. And my customer base are people who can afford my service or even if they can't afford they are ready to put a premium for it. But people who want it for free or for cheap or they are looking for uh, bargains. I'm not the service provider. There is somebody else out there. And I'm more than happy that they go to them. Because these guys, it's a massive headache. I'll tell you, it's a big headache dealing with these uh, penny pinchers, as they call it. And I'm not interested in that. That is why... I made it a point to brand myself through skill, through training, through years and years of dedication that I would be more on the premium side. Like my guy who did the camera, he has spent, I think, close to 10 or 15 years only on security cams. But because, I, because he's close to me, I asked him about sensor lights, which he never did. He said, fine, I'll do it. And that was something new. But I didn't need someone specialized here. So I went for a guy who does general. But if I have to do security cameras, it'll only be him. And mind you, here, you know, when I go top of the house, when I go top of the hill, there is one house here. That guy has done the same um, work, which I think I spend uh, close to 70,000 baht this time I said seven zero. I think he did it for ten thousand baht with through one of his friends. Just the work, but obviously I paid for materials and everything extra. And that guy is not poor. That guy is very very filthy rich. Filthy rich. Okay, he's like maybe twenty. He's not stingy by the way. He just had a friend. Okay, he'll pay him ten thousand. So. What I want to leave you with in this video is you decide as a service provider, as a professional, as a working class human being, as an entrepreneur, do you want to be jack of all or do you want to be specialized? Because remember, if you're jack of all, then you'll have many competitors, many competitors like restaurants here that serve Thai food, a dime a dozen. But if you're looking at Mediterranean food, very few restaurants. If you're looking for Indian, maybe there are four or five or six. If you're looking for Italian, maybe there are maybe seven or eight like that. But if you're looking for Thai, which is very generic, uh, Thai and general, like burgers and this, there are maybe uh, 4,000, 5,000, anywhere you can get. So remember, what is easy, we'll have many competitors. And it'll be tough. And you'll get, yes, low-class customers. Sorry to use that term, but people who will pay you a penny and chew your brains. Or you can have, it's like buying a Toyota, where you get many people. Or you can have maybe a Lexus, or you can have a Rolls-Royce. Just to tell you this, you'll find this interesting. In, uh, in uh, Dubai, my friend who was working for Toyota, he had a target of that time, 30 cars or something per month, 3-0, Toyota. But uh, his friend who was working for Rolls-Royce, his target was only one, one Rolls-Royce per month, one. So Toyota, his target was 30 and this guy was one. And obviously as you become senior, it'll be 30 or 60 or... And uh, it, it's obvious, no? Because the people who can afford a Rolls Royce is maybe one. The premiums are super high and the clients are super wealthy. Toyota, anyone and everyone. 
So I'll conclude by leaving this question. Are you a jack of all? Which is not bad. You'll get many customers, but your premiums will be low. Or would you rather be a specialized master of one? Remember, I said one, not master of three or master of... I am master of personal branding. That's why relationships or jobs and all, it all comes in personal branding. Okay, so your personal brand, personal, how you market yourself, how you interact with people. That is why even my content on my channel is very more or less the same because I don't want to be everything. I don't want to be a food vlogger, travel vlogger, family this and uh, once in a while maybe I'll put, but mainly my videos are like these. So let me know what you think. Comment down below. And uh, I'll definitely be reading your comments. Alright? You guys take care. This is me signing off.